So we are live now. So a while ago, I saw this amazing work. This is gun muzzle flush by this cool account. And yeah, I said to myself, let me remake my version in Houdini in simple as possible. So guess what? I did it. And I want to show you in end of this video. So for that, I need a 3D gun model. So I went to Google and I searched 3D gun model. And what the heck? Yeah, I need to solve that. Detected suspicious traffic. So I need to solve that. And after a while, boom, we have Sketchfab and there is a many cool model, but I wanna select this one and let's bring it in Houdini. So first, as you can see, we need a particle. This is the first component. And as you can see, this is our model. So the particle need a source, source to emit from. So I will create a sphere. This is a small sphere. You see, I place it here. And instead of pop network and all these node, yeah, it's not very cool in my opinion. So we will use SparkX. This is an amazing HDA for adding spark to your work as you can see. And here I'm enabled this particle component element. And as you can see, we have velocity driving this simulation. So we need a velocity to this sphere. You see, that's amazing. So we have our particle. So we have a stream particle, but we need to make it as a shot particle. We need one time emitting. As you can see, you can change the color and do an amazing stuff. But this particle need to have trail. So in SparkX, we have a cool trail effect, as you can see, and we have this randomness, as you can see, and we can achieve that by randomize these velocity vectors. You see, this is simple to achieve without any complexity. And as you can see, we have that. You see, frankly, that's amazing. And this is SparkX, if you want, to know it more, you can watch this video. And big shout out for these amazing people purchasing this HDA. Thank you guys and enjoy with this one. So now, as you can see, we need a pyro and we need a fire. So you see, we have this geometry for emitting the fire or source as a fire. So I went to sculpt that using VDB and sculpt node. This is simple to achieve, honestly, and we have our geometry. So instead of pyro and rasterization and set up that with pyro source, we're gonna create another Spark X. As you can see in Spark X, we have element called combustion, including smoke and fire. So when I enable that, you see it's not cool. Let me change the color. So we have voxel size issue, you see? We can change the voxel size. So what is voxel size? Yeah, let's see what is voxel. Voxel is like pixel in 2D concept, you see? It's controlling a precision, performance, and resolution in 3D stuff. And whenever a field is stored in 3D space like temperature, density, etc., you can control these three parameters with voxel size. And this is the whole concept. And as you can see, instead of doing voxel size adjustment, I will adjust the world scale. You see, boom, we have that. It's like we have a bigger canvas in Photoshop, you see? And now we have more voxel. And we have this color range, and this is amazing pyro look. So we're gonna go with that, but the movement is the issue. So we need the same velocity we had with the particle, you see? Now it's everything working towards this velocity. And of course you can multiply the speed, yeah, multiplying the velocity, and you can emit from this fire source, you see? We have emit smoke, this is amazing future. And we need to scale up this source of the pyro. So first I need to place that 
in here you see to scale it in this direction and as you can see and I animate that you see and boom now we have that but the problem is the shot is not working here we need more frame to emit you see so I wanna keyframe that as you can see and boom working so far so good if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content I will be so grateful guys so we have our fire and smoke and our particle but we are missing something you see the particle has air resistance you see it's have their initial velocity and then they have this noisy movement. air resistance is the force that air exerts on objects moving through it scientists often refer to this force as drag or drag force so in spark x we can go in force and we can add this air resistance and of course we can add some noise to it you see it's so simple and boom we have that so that's so cool we have our particle and we have our pyro and what we missing so wait until you see the result that will be so cool so now as you can see the reference has some camera shake and I thought this is the gun shaking but as you can see this is a camera shake so we're gonna create a camera this is simple and we can go in motion FX and noise and you can have your noise you see you can adjust the amplitude and you can adjust a lot of this parameter and of course this noise it's constant and we have this limitation you can do it with this you can have start and end for this noise and now we have our camera shape so are you ready to see the result let me show you the final scene this is available for champion member of course the champion member can access all these digital assets and this sample scene yeah this is a cool scene i added some glimpse to it as you can see you see i add this pointy shape to this particle using this expression and i render that using solaris and i set up this scene yeah this is straightforward and behold this is our result you see that's so cool to be honest so with that have a good day see you in the next one goodbye